so goodbye. She's blunt, real, and practical. And it's nice to be here with you guys again. And thank you guys for joining me as always. And uh, you know, I will do it every last episode of this show, every last episode of the month. Um, I take my time to answer your questions because most time I can't answer questions because there are so many things to talk about. There are a lot to talk about and the time for questions are so short and I'm not able to respond to your questions. And when it comes to the issues of the heart, we know how important this could be. I understand that your relationship is your life. In fact, I read an article today. I was talking about how um, how marriage, how your marriage actually was a, an article about marriage, how your marriage actually determines if you are going to live long or not, if you are going to be happy or not, if you are going to be successful or not. It, it, it's that serious, you know, so it, it's no child play, you know. I was talking to someone today and, you know, I was telling him marriage is a big deal, <laughs> marriage is, is serious it's not easy actually it's not easy it's success so i mean to be successful in marriage is it's it's not it's not bread and butter really it's it's a whole lot of hard work it's a whole lot of taking your time to make deliberate consistent conscious effort when people come into my office for counseling this is the first thing i tell them if you come into my office and we do all of this without you making up your mind to make constant consistent deliberate genuine effort it's not gonna work so marriage is a whole lot of hard work and it requires a lot of making up your mind to make it work it's no shy play but at the end of the day if you could do the hard work you're gonna be better off for it because every aspect of your life is going to be affected by the kind of relationship you find yourself all right so you are welcome to my show tonight my name is dr tolu and if this is your first time of tuning in of course you've been missing a lot because this is the best thing that has ever happened to radio and of course you know nigeria info visual radio you could actually i mean the best in the country you could watch me live now as i'm talking to you on radio you could actually pick up your phone and go to nigeria info on facebook and watch me live and of course interestingly you could actually tune into your tv if you are home and watch me on wazobia max channel 259 so there's no reason for you to not to be happy you don't have an excuse and you don't have an excuse to have someone around you whose relationship are, is in shambo or whose marriage is in crisis you don't have an excuse to have someone like that because you should be able to tell them about this show for them to tune in and be a part of this show and they are gonna be better off for it all right so call me the fixer that is what i'm called i am the fixer i help you to fix your sexual issues i am in the business of building homes and mending relationships and of course, fixing sexual issues. Pick up your phone, you know, don't just listen to me. Do a Blackberry, do anything like that, okay? It's still existing. Send broadcast on your BBM, on your WhatsApp, on your social media platform. I'm gonna be on Instagram shortly so you can tag people, tag people, spread the news, tag people on Facebook, people you care about because tonight, you could actually lean on my shoulder. You are my shoulder to lean on. You could ask me all your questions. You know, most of the issues that you uh, we have in this part of the world is because we pretend a lot. America will emphasize. I'm always saying that, but that's what I see on a daily basis. So, um, um, people are going through issues that you might actually not be able to tell people about it. But on this show, nobody's going to condemn you. Nobody's going to judge you. You just express your feelings the way you think it is, and I'm not going to judge you. So lean on my shoulder tonight. Bring it on. Whatever is bothering your mind, whatever is giving you sleepless night, whatever is making you to wet your pillows at night, whatever is making you to be planned, I mean, to be sleeping into depression, to be sad. I mean, life is too short 
to be sad so whatever it is that is making you to like be feeling sad feeling depressed you don't feel like you can't go on talk to me tonight i mean this is an opportunity we don't get all the time i don't have the time to take your calls on this show all the time by the time i take maximum of like five calls i'm done but tonight is going to be call gallows you're going to send me your whatsapp send me your messages send me go to my facebook page intimate talk with tulu drop your questions drop your comments drop your opinions go to facebook uh um, um uh, nigeria info drop your comments drop your questions drop your whatever it is you know all those burden you are carrying alone sometimes you know talking to someone is therapeutic even if you don't get solution to that problem the fact that you can just open up and talk is therapeutic enough you know i i i used to have i still have a client normally you know she's a very smart and beautiful lady all she does is come to my office lie down on my couch and tell me you know dr tolu you know just, just don't say anything you know just don't say anything and then she just lie down and talk and talk and talk and just pour out her mind and then smile, take a glass of water, and walk away. You know, so sometimes all you need to do is just somebody to talk to. But when you do the talking, you know, talking to the wrong person could also be disastrous. So tonight on this show, open up to me. Whatever it is, let me give you proof. I'm not just your next door OAP, you know. I am a professional in this field when it comes to relationship, when it comes to sex, and when it comes to marriage i've been dealing with people and of course you know to the glory of god I'm, i have to say it I give it to god i mean i don't believe there's any relationship or marriage that cannot be worked on you know and i've seen a lot of couples and i could tell you really i could tell you that intimate solution which is the name of my company has 99 percent success rate when it comes to counseling and sex therapy you know so you could talk to me tonight it's an opportunity instead of you i mean for those of you that be coming here, oh, i just want to talk to dr tolu for a minute i do have money to pay so tonight nigeria info is giving you the platform wazobia is giving you the platform to just talk to me and let's rub my together you're welcome back to intimate talk with dr tolu and of course tonight like i said it's open mic tuesday actually today is tuesday and um it's because it's the last episode of the month like we usually do so it's all about answering all your questions it's all about answering all your questions tonight so open mic tuesday let's roll okay so whatever it is you want to ask ask me please go ahead and uh you know um okay before i go uh today is nat national orgasm day <laughs> I, I, i'm not sure nigeria celebrates all this kind of you know days uh world uh six nine day you know, different, most of the time I post all these things on my Instagram, you know, these special dates, especially something that has to do with intimacy, with sex. I don't think Nigeria, I mean, people will tell you, with no eating, you are talking about orgasm. <laughs> That's how we get it wrong, get away. All right, so today is National Orgasm Day. So I think maybe I will be throwing the question, I'll be throwing it out to you there, that when was the last time you have an orgasm? When was the last time you have an orgasm? Today is National Orgasm Day. I'm not sure it's celebrated in Nigeria. It's a Tuesday, but it might be a very good day to have a great O. Oh, that's why I put it on my Instagram. So according to Wikipedia, the National Orgasm Day is celebrated on November 18. The original day was started in Brazil with a law passed by a local councilman Ari Matteo Dantas, that's his name, or that was his name, to celebrate it. It is celebrated there on August 8th, but celebrated in other countries like UK, Australia, and the US. You know, anything that has to do with US and UK, you find Nigeria there. So it is celebrated in countries like UK, like Australia, and like US on July 31st of every year which is today so 
it's National Algism Day. I, I intend to be promoting, you know, all these special days that no one is talking about in Nigeria. You know, maybe on special Algism Day, I could just call one or two people, teach them about Algism, you know, to celebrate it. Then we post it on social media, you know, to mark special Algism Day. Yes, there is um International 69 Day 69, you know, to celebrate um that the sex six nine sex town. I think that was on June. I posted it, you know, I think June. So like maybe that kind of a day to you know, I could put up something together, you know. You know, just to bring awareness to this thing. I mean when it comes to sex, nobody is talking in Nigeria. So I mean someone has to talk about it. All right, so tonight I'm right there with you. So happy National Algism Day. I, I hope you get one tonight. A very great orgasm because it's a special day. It's a good day to have an orgasm. All right. So let's roll. I will be picking your calls, listening to your comment, answering your questions, and solving the puzzles. All right. We keep you informed. We keep you company, and we give you access to pour out your mind even through the night. We are the first talk station of the nation. We are ninety-nine point three Nigeria Info. Nigeria, Nigeria. I'm listening. I'm listening. She can help you rekindle the flames of love. The flames of love. Doctor Tolu, the fixer. Call us on 0127709930127719930127729930 0127729930 and 0127739930 This is Nigeria Info we are listening Call us on 0127709930127719930 0127729930 and 0127739930. This is Nigeria Info. We are listening. All right, it's Nigeria Info, and of course, we are live on Wazobia Max 259 on DSTV, and of course, I'm live on Facebook, Nigeria Info 99.3. And again, I'm live. Okay, I'm going live on Instagram now. So you could join me on Instagram. It's me talk with to know. It's me. Oh, oh, hold on. Got that right. Got that wrong. Okay. Um, um, I'm going live on Instagram. It's me talk with to know. So you could join me live on Instagram. Okay. Am I live now? Can you see me? yeah all right so let's roll ask me your questions wow and of course we have our whatsapp number so you could actually send your comments your opinion your questions to my whatsapp let's roll let's roll okay so i'm picking my first call it's gonna be my first call tonight hello i don't have any issue with telephone tonight, really? Good. Hello? Wow, woo. Hello? Something is wrong somewhere. I can't. Okay? Okay? You might want to speak up. Good evening. Please speak up. Okay, ma. This is Stephen, ma. Calling from Jebode. Stephen from Jebode. You are welcome to Intimate yes, Talk. Ma. Yes, ma. Thank you, ma. I just want to call to appreciate your good work on you. Thank you. So, I'm not married. I'm still a small boy. So, okay. I'm learning a lot from you. I think you called before, right? No, no, no. Stephen, ma. This is Stephen, ma. Okay, Stephen, ma. Yes, I'm a guy. I'm not a girl. Ah! A guy that best cheating, ma. Yes. Yeah, that's the first time I'm hearing that. Yes, ma. Thank you, ma. All right, thank you for calling. Thank you, I appreciate. Yes, ma. Okay, nice. good night. Sleep tight. All right, uh, Samson, Emma, Ugochi, thank you, Yusuf, Joe Adams, correct love doctor. <laughs> I like the way you guys psych me. You know, you guys are making me to blush, eh? Money 2004. Hello, Dr. Tolu. I am victorious. You're welcome. And I'm taking another call. Hello. 
Wow, don't do this to me. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. You want to put up your radio because I can get the feedback. Oh, please, I just want to talk about the... Yeah, you need to put off your radio if you are going to be calling me. I can't get your feedback. Hello, and people are listening on TV, so they need to hear you. Good, good evening. Good evening. Hello. You are welcome. Uh, first time caller. Oh, thank you for calling. How is everything? Fine, thank you. Yeah, doctor. Yeah. 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 How are you doing? I'm fine, are you? I'm well too. Wow. Uh, the question I need to ask tonight. Yeah. Um, what we actually will be happening six months after wedding and no issue. What's wrong? <laughs> okay. So, um, that you're talking about infertility and it is turned the fertility after one year it becomes infertility after one year. but six months is too early to be agitated it's it's medically it's i don't think it's considered infertility if it's not to a year but for you to find out what is wrong you need to go to the hospital you need to run a check you need to find out you need to run tests to find out what is wrong okay and as much as possible i mean the feedback is much anyway uh, sorry, but I hope you could listen to me. But as much as possible, um, just stay calm. I and mean, that's what counselors would always tell you at the hospital. Medical doctors will always tell you at the hospital, stay calm, um, relax, because apparently you're already agitated at six months. So the only way to find out what is wrong is to go and run a test. All right. Okay, Samson. Doctor told me you are too much. I apply one of your this and it worked like magic. Yay! You did! And it worked like magic. I love that. Thank you. Uh, Molly Mustardi. Uh, yes, that's my husband's namesake. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Samson, what's the topic tonight? It's Open Mic Tuesday, so you could ask me all your questions. Hello? Hello? Yeah, good evening. Good evening. I called you last time. I didn't tell you my name and where I'm calling from. Okay, oh, sorry about that. I said I'm first time caller. Tolu from Aja. Okay, Aja. so Tolu is my namesake. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's why I called you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right, thank thanks you. for calling. Yeah. yeah, Tolu, thank you for calling. Tolu is a. If you're a guy, you're going to be exceptionally handsome. If you're a lady, you're going to be exceptionally... I mean, all the Tolu's I've been meeting are just, you know, unique. In one special way. Even my boss here in Nigeria in Fuku testified testify to that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. King Caesar, you're welcome. Um, Yeah, you're here. I could see you. You're welcome. Hello? Something is wrong with that particular line, actually. Hello. Uh, hello. Yeah, you're welcome. Good evening. Good evening. My name is David and I'm calling from Lagos. David from Lagos, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, you see, my problem, or what I have to ask you is, um, I am in a relationship with, with a lady. Okay. Um, for four or five months now. Um, but, but this is the problem, really. Okay. Um, most times, she talks about me to her friends. Okay. I, I don't know what the talk is about. And when we have issues, even when she's at fault, mm. I get to do the calling most times. Mm. I get to try to make amends and, you know, bring us back together. Mm. But recently... Um, she did something and we weren't talking for some time and then she wanted to test me and she gave my number my contact to one of her friends 
mm. just to test me if I, if I would fall for her. Mm. I even told her everything about me, like everything about me. Mm. This lady called me, I was telling me all of that. And I was even telling her, I said, there are only two people that know that much about me. Mm. That is she and one of my friends, the, the guy. Mm. I, I don't tell people that, so how? Are you there? Okay, so, so that, that's what happened. Well, so so what well, was the question exactly now? The, the problem now is, I, I honestly, I don't know if I should still continue because it's like she does not trust me or something. I, I don't know where to start from. Okay. I'm thinking of letting her go. Okay, so um, currently, I mean, from what you have said, there are two problems. Okay, maybe, do you want to drop the call or you want to stay on okay, the line? Okay, okay, okay right. I'll listen. Okay. okay, okay, so there are two problems with that relationship. Number one, she, you, uh, apparently, or obviously, you are more, you are investing more than she's doing in that relationship because whenever you had argument, you are going to be the one to call, you are going to be the one to make the first move, whether she's wrong or, or right. So she will never do that. So the number one problem with that relationship is the fact that Solomon, I, I really, I don't know. I don't know how I can keep that. But I need to, uh, let me finish this. I just hope your message is still there, all right, Solomon? But I'm going to answer your question, okay? So now, your problem is, okay, so two problems with that relationship. Number one, it's like you're investing more than she's doing. You are, you are, maybe you are actually more in love if there's anything like that. Maybe there's something like half, halfly in love anyway. So obviously you are more in love than she is and she will never so that's one problem she you are the only one that is always making the first move always striving to make the relationship work so there's a problem and then the second problem is a father she's always talking about your relationship to everyone so those two Po those two things are things that are going to I mean number one, the first one is a sign of the fact that there is a problem in that relationship already, if someone is you know, so egoistic, because if you care for someone, if you love someone you, you, you just can't do it without them you want to talk to them, you want to even if you are not talking to them, you just want to be sure that they are fine, so if someone is comfortable staying away from you all the time, until you make the first move, she will never do that then there is a problem, that relationship has a problem and then secondly, the fact that she's talking to everybody. So you want to know if you should back out. Of course, these two problems are big problems, but I don't think there are enough problem. I mean, enough reasons for you to throw away a very good relationship. That is, if the relationship is good enough. So what you need to do is to sit her down and discuss these two points. I think that relationship has these two issues, one and two. Stop discussing it with people. I don't think it's right. And I think she's doing that because... She's actually, I mean, number one is actually mean to number two. She didn't want to make the first move. And he does that for crying out loud because you don't want to make the first move so you are looking for someone to help you to call your boyfriend. I don't think it's right. But I still think it could be worked on. Talk to her. Then if you didn't make any changes, I mean, she's not making any attempt to change. I think you might need to have a rethink about that relationship, all right? Fato uh, Kumala Milekon, thank you for joining me. Guy Net Vicious, well done, thank you, Christopher. I'm phenomenal. I am phenomenal, my number one fan. <laughs> thank you for joining, all right? Um, um, good evening, Dr. Tony. Good work you are doing. God bless you. I've been expecting my monthly cycle since second of this month, and today is 31st. Don't serve that pregnancy test or show negative, please. What can I do to see my period again? Thanks. Um, it, you need. I mean, the fact that you miss your you miss your cycle once, my. I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily. It, I mean, since you've gone for pregnancy, you've done all the tests. You are not pregnant. Wait till um, you wait till uh, August. You know, because we saw it early, early. Um, okay, you said second of this month. I've been expecting my monthly cycle since second. You were meant to see it. That means it came late. Okay, you saw it last second, maybe around second of July. So, I mean, you saw it like around second of June. You're expecting it second of July. That's a long time, actually. So, give it to you. 
maybe early August. I mean, what the next thing to do at this point is go and run a test. And you say you've done that. So give it to you, like early August. And if there is nothing wrong, and the only thing you can still do is still go back to the hospital, please. I don't want to start telling you that you should go and do this and do that. I mean, the right thing to do is to run a test. You need to know what is wrong with you before you can know how to treat it. So go to the hospital. If you wait till early next month and nothing is happening, that's, I mean, from tomorrow is a new month. So you might need to go back and run a test and see the, and find out. I mean, when you find the problem, then you find the solution to the problem, all right? Okay. If your girl is in a relationship with a guy, that's sleazy. But she doesn't always call. What should the guy do? I mean, if you love someone, you want to hear their voice. You want to see how they are doing. Especially for the female. Female, I mean, the female folks are more emotional. So if a woman is not calling you, it's, it's guy. I mean, I don't want to indulge men. But the truth of the matter is women are more emotional. It's men that still has this, I love her, but I mean, do I need to call? But... Even that is not an excuse. When you love someone, you need to see that they are doing well. You need to look out for them. You need to be sure they are fine. If you love someone and you are always the only one investing in that relationship, I'm sorry, you might be the only one in love. Because if somebody cares about you, there's no point. Why, the, no matter how busy, even if it's when the person is going to the toilet, you know, sit there in the morning, maybe for five minutes, pick your phone and do a text message. Baby's gonna be a busy day, but you are in my thought. That's all. That's all. Or busy in the afternoon, say, or in the evening, oh, babe, I'm, I'm busy. I've been busy. Sorry, I've not been able to call you. Talk to you later. Even if it's TTY, I'll talk to you later. It's enough. Let the person know that you are in the person's mind. But for someone not to call you at all, I'm sorry, you might be the only one in the relationship. All right? Okay, I want to read this before I pick a call because it could actually disappear. Mama, I always get out of the relationship so easily. Any help? Later, I turn relationship to friendship. Although I see many components in the ladies, but I get tired so fast. All right. So um, if you if you if you get tired of relationships so fast, you might two things. You might actually need to now. We might need to look at what is happening in your life. Why do you get tired of this relationship? We might need to probably look at the trends of your relationship. What has been happening? What kind of women have you been dating? How do, how do you meet them? What happened when you drop them? What kind of person are they? Are you sleeping with them? What happened? You must be able to pick at the point when you... There must be a trigger. There must be a point where you easily get tired. This is the uh, this is the whole essence of counseling. So if you have actually call for a proper counseling, we will do what we call psychoanalysis, you know, and find out what is actually wrong. I might not be able to tell you that it is this until I could really pick. So there could be a lot of reasons why you get tired easily. You might not be... Um, what is this term now? Um keep my mind but there are times for people who can you know sustain relationship for a long time but we need to find out why when we find out why then we solve the problem and secondly another thing is when you fall in love come on I, maybe you have never been in love i mean when you fall in love come on <laughs> you're not going to get tired the person in fact people would be wondering what is wrong with you that's the truth all right okay so i'm picking okay you are saying no sex sincerely i don't think you have been in love Okay, so I'm picking calls and I'll come back to WhatsApp then back to Instagram. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. My name is Aramide from Ecuador. Okay, Aramide, you're welcome. Um, I wanted to ask what to be done when my husband is not being active enough. Okay, so when you say active enough, what do you mean? Once a week? You don't enjoy the sex. She doesn't know for play. What what exactly is the problem? As I'm saying, like once I'm tired of kind of a thing. Like he he would do just one round. Yes. And he will get tired. Yes. And you will want him to go more. Yes, you get it. All right. Okay. Now this is it. Fine. It's okay to want a man to go more. All right. But. Okay. Sometimes it is not about how far, it is about how well. There are some more rand that are better than five, ten rounds, depending on if she's if it's 
able to satisfy you. So in order not to mount too much pressure on him, what matter is you're able to come, you're able to enjoy it, you're able to orgasm, there are other things he could do for you. Now, making him to go more rounds could actually mean, okay, working on himself, the diet, uh, maybe it's, uh, but um, it's not everybody that could do more than a round, but it's the round quality. Are you enjoying it? Are you satisfied? Even if he cannot satisfy you with one round, it mean, you know, like when a man, um, when a man ejaculates, like I, I've said it before on this show, there's something that is called a refractory period. It might not be able to pick up immediately, given like five, ten minutes, or five minutes, two to five minutes, it could come back. But if it's not coming back, there are other things it could do to make you satisfied. Why he keep working on himself to be able to do that? But it shouldn't be under pressure. If it's under pressure, the, the evil, even the one, the one hand you are having, you could lose it. <laughs> Okay, what is the thing I can actually do? Okay, now, you should be able to know what works for you. That's the question. Or, you see, there is no one side fits all. I have said that before on this show that, I mean, penetration is good. But as much as possible, in order not to put your husband under unnecessary pressure, if he can't penetrate, there are other things he could do to make you come. So if you if you don't know what you want, Dr. Tomu might not be the one to tell you what you want. Okay? Hello? That line, that line is not working. It's just not working for me. Hello? Yeah, hello, good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. So, I just want to make. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah, so I want to forget my baby. So, okay. You know, um, yeah, I know I'm having a uh, She only complained that I don't come quick and my dick is too big. So, she only wants to refuse me whenever I want to have a. Uh, but. The thing that you affect me, but I don't know what to do, so can you tell me what to do about it? All right, okay, so your problem is uh, big mind, extra large, and um, um, okay, so you drop the call and maybe delayed ejaculation. So, as most people have, um, um, some, I mean, most, not even some, as most people have a lot of people. A baffling, I don't know, premature ejaculation. It's like that. That's so common. And men are, I don't know. I mean, maybe I should say this. Men are under, under serious pressure to satisfy their woman sexually. Guys, you need to cool down, really. You need to cool down. I mean, people are swallowing different things, rubbing this, showing this. Ah, for crying out loud, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy with yourself, men. Men are going extra mile, you know, to be sexually because you know the sex for a man, it's all about you know, it's about power, it's about strength, it's about uh, I, you know, it, it's so it, 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 the, the relationship between uh, sexual um, men's sexuality and and their ego is so much that men are doing so much to prove a point. For crying out loud, take it easy on yourself because. Most importantly, I said that over and over on this show that it is not about it is not how far it is how well. What are we talking about? Up to almost up to about eighty five percent of women will not even will not even reach everything with your penetration. So why are you mounting pressure on yourself? Why do you want to go 10, 20 years? If you have the capacity, cool, beautiful, enjoyable. But if you don't have it, relax, relax. Take it easy on yourself. All right. So for this guy, his whole problem is okay. So what? So what is um? I mean, how do they put this adage? One man's food is another man's poison. So most people are complaining about premature ejaculation. He's complaining about delayed. But delayed ejaculation could actually be a very big problem. So if yours is delayed ejaculation, is an issue, and you might need to seek for medical help. But most of the time, it's lifestyle. Lifestyle, you know, change your lifestyle, change, um, you know, get some, um, 
psychological uh, tips on how to you know come quickly you know there are a lot of things you could do you know a lot of um a lot of uh, pressure on uh, on the cap you know of the pennies those could actually um um you know make you to want to come easily you know just do things that could make you to come there are a lot of things you could include in your sex life that could make you to come easily so mo most of the time it has to do with your skills and it has to do with your lifestyle all right then when it comes to size of course <laughs> i i have seen i've seen i i have had i've seen actually not physically <laughs> don't get me wrong i don't look at my i don't look at clients <laughs> i don't look at my client private parts so i know nothing about that but i have had clients who are extra large who are having issues they come in with their wives uh, and there's a guy that came with, with his boyfriend i mean with his girlfriend you know and uh, he, i mean he bought a car for this lady he saw this lady through school but at the same time whenever he's making love to this lady is always pain in fact sometimes she bleeds and uh, the lady just kept saying i'm sorry i can't marry you and she was like and he was like if you can't i will I, I understand you know but you know a little a lot of foreplay a lot of uh a lubricants are gonna help you do much much more of lubricant do a lot of foreplay take it easy don't rush you know as gentle as possible i think that is going to solve your problem all right okay i'm picking my next call hello hello good evening good evening my name is Adela. Okay, good evening. You're welcome. And, and I'm calling from the K2. Okay. You are calling from? K2. Okay, K2. You're welcome. Yeah. So, please, I, I want you to address me. Okay. I've been out of relationship for for a man. Okay. I I was planning to get married in twenty eleven. Okay. But at the end of the day it didn't work out. Okay. So uh, the lady I wanted to marry was a Ghanaian, so she went back. Okay. Then after about for three years, I used to go see her. Then she okay. said that I need to come over there. Okay. If not, it will not work out. Okay. So then I was disappointed and I decided to be my own. Okay. But after a while, I decided to... Make it snap a lot of people are trying to call. I decided to move on with my life okay. but this is it. everybody have been dating they were people I date wrong people people that cheat people who were concerned about sex and I am 39 years old you are 39 so, but probably been, maybe I am the problem maybe I have stopped the standards too much you are you are 39 yeah and um you are single yes. and you think you are dating wrong women yes why do you think they are wrong actually i'm a christian okay i dated a lady okay she she cheated on me okay make it snappy so you think all this is about sex you you are selling uh, not um, yes, that's what I'm anything. asking. You don't want to have sex before marriage, understandable. No. But they want no. to have sex before marriage. Yes. You have been meeting the wrong people actually. Because I mean most of the time it's girls, it's ladies that are I mean, although things are changing, but it's ladies mostly, even though things are changing, it's ladies that actually want to stay celibate before marriage. So I'm surprised that you, you are having this kind of problem apparently you have been meeting the wrong people are you working yeah okay so you could feed your wife you could feed yourself you could feed at least a child of course okay so okay so um i'm going to drop my number i will match you i will hook you up 
I mean, there are, our ladies are ready to wait. Good girls, only girls. I mean, I said this a lot of time that the, the good girls in court, they are in the matchmaker's office. Girls that are trying, I mean, they are celibate, they are waiting, no sex before marriage. I could get you people like that. So I'm going to drop my number so you could register with me for matchmaking. I'm going to match you. All right? Okay? That solves your problem anyway. All right? Um, okay? I I've lost that. Hi, doctor. I'm having problem with my with my penis. How do I enlarge it? <laughs> You're having problem. You don't have problem now. You want to enlarge. Somebody just called. That is too big and is having problem. Now you are calling that you are too small. You want to enlarge. Musical hearts are big. Hmm? You see, <laughs> people will not kill me. I'm going to tell you. Go and take a very good. You want to? You are looking for drug to enlarge. Eh? Go and take a very good dose of self-esteem. A very good dose of self-esteem, because at the end of the day, it is not. A, it is not about size. Oh, let me say it is not much about size at it is about skill. If you have the size, if you don't have the skill, you are nothing. You women, it doesn't even move them. Go and master your skill with your small size. You are cool. Master your skill. All right. <laughs> okay, Aduke Abi, Aduke Omoba. Those that, that have head don't have cap. Those that have cap don't have head. That's the way it is. So you make, uh, I mean, when 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 the, when life gives you lemon, you make lemonade, all right? Um, good morning, Doctor Tolu. It is still evening, actually. I need another sugar mommy in my life. I've gotten so addicted to having sex that I can't seem to do without it, and it seems to be affecting every other aspect of my life. How can you help me? I mean, well, I mean, you have a problem. You want, you say you, I mean, you, you don't have a problem because you say you're addicted to sex, and then you want sugar mommy. Which one do I, which one do I take? Now, if you're looking for sugar mommy or you're looking for sugar daddy, koga, whatever, don't talk to Doctor Tolu. I'm a very wrong person to talk to when it comes to that. There are people who does that. They are cool with it, but for me. When it comes to intimate matchmaking that I do, it is for people who are looking for serious relationship that could lead to marriage. So I can't help you with that. But when it comes to the issue of, um, so I don't know, I don't know anybody that could help you, but I'm sure there are people who could help you with the uh, Koga issue. But for the sex issue, if you're addicted to sex, it is something you need sex therapy to solve the problem. There are a lot of, I mean, therapeutic intervention that could be used to help you. So, but it's not something I could do because I don't even know. I need to find out where you're coming from to be able to find a solution to that problem. So you might need to schedule a private appointment to get rid of your sex addiction. People could be addicted to sex. Could be People could be addicted to pornography. People could be addicted to game. People, people could be addicted to funny things, actually. So, I mean, you are not alone. It's not a new thing, but it is a problem and you need to work on it. All right. Sorry, the phone lines are just. Let me. Let me. I'm concentrating on the phone now. Hello. Good evening, man. Good. Good morning, actually. Uh, good morning. All right. Yeah. My name is David. Calling from Lucky. Okay. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Sorry. Uh, there's a lady I'm dating. Okay. But. Uh, I found out that she is having an affair with somebody ex. Okay. And uh, whenever we meet ourselves, not for sex, not for anything, but actually the attention she does away. Uh, even if yeah, she stays for like five minutes, if then the guy will call mm. and I quit. I'm jealous over that. I've told her several times. She doesn't really worry to me. That guy, they are just friends, nothing, nothing, they don't have anything. And of course, even the other sister know about that. And uh, the guy, they, she complained to me that, like, the sister, she's like. Sorry, what's your name again? I'm David. David, okay? Yeah. Okay, I uh, think the question I will ask you, David, is who are you? Who are you? I mean, <laughs> your girlfriend is with you. Another person is calling her. You know, there's somebody in her life. 
somebody did something that I mean, and you said the sister knows about it. Who are you? For a lady to be able to do all that to you, it says a lot about who you think you are. Do you think you don't deserve more? Do you think you don't deserve a lady's love? Do you think you don't deserve better than a lady that is sharing you or trying to make you like a second option? You th I think you deserve better than that. And it says a lot about you see yourself, David. Really. Sorry. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. I think I've answered that question. Hello? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you called me and your call credit has been exhausted. Hello? 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 Yeah, good morning. Yeah, so I called back. I just want to tell you, tell you I don't use anything for myself. It's a gift from God. I've answered Can the you? question. It's cool. It's cool. I've answered that question. I've answered it. I mean, I didn't, I didn't say you use anything, all right? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Hi, my name is, my name is Charles. Okay, good morning. Coming from Becky. All right. Good yes. um, I have two issues. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm the last side. Um, so, it's a bit problematic because I heard girls were asking me, so it's always a problem. Come again. Come I'm on the last side. Okay. And, and I, I'm, I like skinny girls, but it's really a problem with me when I'm having intercourse with them. Okay, it. maybe the pelvic. Okay. Yes, there is complaint. That's okay. A bit painful. Okay. So, um, I don't know what to do. Then when I meet girls who are busy, like, who seem to cope with me, they wait for this. They wait for the time to go faster. When I do that, it becomes very painful. So, I like, I'm, I don't know how to... Okay, I think the problem is solved. You have, I mean, you've known the kind of girls that suit you. So, that's number one problem solved. Number two problem. Yeah, number two. Number one problem solved. Number two problem is those that suits you are always complaining when you go too fast. Right? Yes. If you go fast, you go fast, you complain. I'm not wondering. Okay, so. I think that problem is also solved. You go too fast, go slow. Now you so you tell them if I go too fast, there's no more problem. So I need to go slow. Okay. I think it, the problem is solved. Yeah. Okay, two again. I've been feeling this for a while. Okay. Cover that issue. I just said to Oscar, there was too many. I just felt like I didn't have stress to start. I think it's a good thing, if you ask me. Yes, I just said it comes to me. So, um, I'm, my fear is that I'm, I don't want to speak to anybody right now. So I'm, I'm trying to get married. And my fear is that I get married to somebody. I don't want to feel that. I don't want to. I fear I might be seeing the person to say, we're going to get married and start going through the same problem. Hmm. Okay, now, now, I, I don't think you're going to have that problem because according to you, you find that you've been able to, at least, it's a good, that's a very big step forward. You've been able to understand the kind of ladies that suit you. All right? Yeah. Okay, so that's a step, that's a, a big, that's 50% problem solved. All right? So now, if you are celibate, if you don't want to have sex before marriage, now you have known the kind of lady, so you could stay just the way you are. All you need to do is to look out for those kind of ladies that you are talking about. All right? And now, the fact that, this is a point that I need to make. The fact that your sex life is great before marriage doesn't mean it's going to be superb after marriage. They are two different ball game, really. So for people who are saying, I want to taste, I want to know, forget it. By the time she has a first child, the, the uh, excitement and the... Um, and the, what will I call it, the sexual uh, desire level drop to zero. You know, so it, it's not a bad thing. Don't think that because you decided to be celibate, then you are going to be having problem after marriage. No. All you need to do is get your education right. I mean, understand how to make love to a woman. Or be open. The two of you should talk about it and be open. You're going to be fine. All right. Yeah, thank you for calling. All right. All right. Officer, senior, official, all right. Dr. Tolu, thank, oh, I lost that, sorry. Sorry, it's gone up, sorry. She'll see, oh, she'll see. Thank you for joining me, <laughs> mommy, <laughs> all right. Um, I am funny, man, and let me be the first one to wish you a happy new month, Dr. Tolu. Thank you, guys, thank you for, wow. This I wanted to go on a short break, but the lines and uh, let me just take this set, then go on a short break. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello, good morning. Good Dr. morning. Dr. Yeah, good morning. Um, my, my name is Daniel calling from Lekki. Okay, you're welcome, Daniel. I think I have a very big problem, Dr. Tolo. I only need a help. Yes. Um, I think I am so much addicted to ladies, so much addicted to women that I, I admire any lady I see, I just admire them. Most time I go approaching them, and I think I'm also addicted to sex. And sometimes I just try to get my eyes off them, but I don't know, I just. Something is pushing me to, do, to go, and I'm, I am so emotional. Mm. Okay, the feedback is much. I'm going to drop the call. I will talk before, then I will. You. Yes, I'm, I, I've dropped the call actually. All right, so, okay, so sexu sexual addiction. Sexual addiction is a problem. It's a problem. It's a big one. And there is no one size fits all. So I can't be telling you. Yeah, there are certain things I could actually tell you. But I don't want to because I might not be saying the right thing. The right thing to do is to call for therapy. Let's find out what is the problem. When we find out what is the problem, then we will be able to solve the problem. All right? Okay. Therapy. Most of the questions, and you know, issues of the earth, some of these questions might not be something I could be able to answer on air. People, Nigerians, please cultivate the uh, habit of talking to a professional talk to professional counselors talk to coaches talk to sex therapists you know so you could clear whatever issue that you're having because at the end of the day you might be thinking i don't have money at the end of the day therapy counseling is cheaper in the long run you will save yourself a lot of money you save yourself a lot of headache it is cheaper in the long run please go out because look at it, for example, we are talking about sexual addiction. Who knows? You could contact HIV. Who knows? You, I mean, a lot of things could happen. If you have gone for therapy and you have been able to come out of this, you could be fine and save yourself a lot of serious troubles that could come out of it in future. All right? Um, I'm going to take this one call, then I'll go on a short break. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good morning, good actually. Good morning, good morning doctor. Yeah. Uh, I don't have, and I don't wish to lose my name for now. All right. I have a problem. If you, I appreciate your program actually because if your program has been there even before I got married, I won't have been going to a wrong relationship. Mm. My wife, the problem is the. Yeah, once you does not even enjoy sex, yeah, mm. you really know that you're not even interested in having children in the first place. Mm. Then, another thing, I think that we did many things for her, but now, you know, about 15 years now that I've trained her, she refused to work with the job and with the sense of she has stress. If I would ask her, okay, that's go and look for a job because nothing like this is because of how many years old is the marriage we have been in relationship for about 20 years but the marriage is nine years okay so okay nine years how many kids just one kid okay she doesn't want to have more she, 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 she has had this carriages okay she has had this carriages and even the advice i want to know because she doesn't want to work she doesn't want to assist in anything even uh, and the problem is okay you should try and uh, make up at least try to be do something to support so you you train up the, 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 the child mm -hmm. even the, the child she does not even teach him his assignment or anything mm -hmm. and he just to watch the program on the uh, satellite television cable tv and he cares less, less about anything because what now I, I see that me that just did the marriage is because he's quarrelsome. We quarrel every time, <laughs> and even okay. So, quarrel, so uh, what is your what is the percentage of your happiness in that marriage now? I'm not happy because give me the percentage. Put put a number to it. Oh. I maybe twenty percent or thirty percent. Wow, you deserve oh, better. Yeah. And in any time we have problems, she does not apologize. I have to want to call her to apologize to her, call her, 
advice. Okay, now see this marriage is bad. That's the word. The marriage is bad. A lot of things are wrong. She's quarrelsome. She's she doesn't want to work. She, you know, I mean, probably addicted to television. She doesn't. I mean, a lot of problem now. But no matter how bad, it can be worked on if the two of you only if the two of you are ready to make it work. Now, and the only way to work on this marriage is to seek proper help. Please schedule proper appointment for counseling. Now, when you go for a counseling session, it will be, it will be, if she doesn't want the marriage, it will be cleared to the two of you. So if she says she wants the marriage, you have to sit back and make effort to work on it. And she said, I'm not ready to make effort. And the man is saying, you need to make it. And she said, I'm not ready to make effort. If you can't cope, let me go. It's going to be clear to the two of you. That is why I said the right thing to do is to seek help. Seek professional help, and it's going to be clear to everybody. If you need to work so on now, it, mm. so now we are, so now we are, we are not even talking. You will keep yeah. having this kind of. You, I mean, you're in a bad marriage for crying out loud. Yeah. You, you, your life will be sad. Everything about you will be sad. You are not living your life to the fullest. That's the truth. And the only way to t solve this problem is to seek therapy, so that you know if it can be worked on, you work on. If it's not working, everybody. I mean. It's not a do or die thing. Life is too short, really. All right? Um, but, but my church, you say that God is the God. That's why I'm finding difficult. I'm being a, like, an old member and it's been a long time with church. I don't want to... But well, actually, God called me. I would have been a pastor. But I can't be a pastor in this way. When problems are... I have to face problems every day. Face the grace for a woman every day. Abuse, insults. <laughs> That is not the will of God for you either. I am not in a place to tell you to divorce your wife. I know, I understand, and I'm, I stand by that so that God hates divorce. But I know that God doesn't also want you to be in this position that you are in. So you need to seek for help. If your wife doesn't want divorce, let her sit up. And all these things, you can't, you can't talk to her and see, I mean, you've been doing de this for nine years. Nothing is going to change until you seek proper help, all right? That's, that's 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 just it. All right. So um. Sweet. All right, Emma Mani, thank you. Lola Lola GD, thank you. Fab Bulu, Wallace Villa, thank you guys for joining me on Instagram. So I could I could pick your I could read your comment on Instagram now, right? Okay, I'm picking a call now. Hello. Hello, Malcolm. Good morning, beautiful. <laughs> I think you're beautiful because your voice is beautiful. <laughs> How I, are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. I'm listening. I'm a first-time caller. Oh, thank you for calling. And I'm really enjoying the program. Thank you, darling. Um, I am having a program. Okay. I'm in a relationship. And the guy here don't want me talking to my ex, and it has been a very big problem, actually. Uh -uh. Well, well, why do you want to keep your ex? No, if we, like, we are living in the same place, not talking to each other. Like, even when I saw him on the road, I shouldn't say hi or hello, something like that. No, no. I mean, she 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 should trust you enough to be able to, um, I mean, allow you to say hello. I mean, what's the big deal? But but the truth of the matter is, trust is hand. They are not deceived as well. So you might have to like have a heart to heart talk to. I mean, with him about this. That babe, I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't want to keep my list. I have nothing with this guy. If he doesn't want you to talk, don't have his phone number. If you all that, delete all that. Cut away all um contact but if you see him on the road I, I don't think it should be a problem you need to discuss that with him have a heart to heart talk and i think that will solve the problem well i i really did that we discussed a lot about that but still he didn't he still didn't understand it's a problem actually i mean i mean nobody should stop you from I, I, it, but the truth of the matter is you know it's a two-way thing Talking to your ex is the ex so important that you can't let go 
and concentrate on your marriage. If, you know, the, there are two ways. Like I said, if the ex is, is so is such a burden on your relationship, weigh your option. Is it so important that you can't let go and keep your relationship? Is it so important? So consider that that's one part. Then secondly, I just hope it is not that this your guy is, is being unnecessarily insecured. That could be a sign of danger. That could be another problem. So where the two? Is it that your guy is being unnecessarily paranoid and insecure? That could be a bigger problem. And it might not be your ex today. It could be another person tomorrow. Or is it that he's saying the right thing and your relationship is not so important and that you, you can't let go of the ex for that? So what are your options? Where those two options and, and make up your mind on what to do? Okay. All right. Thank you for calling. Okay. Chibuze Okole, nice work. Fab Bolu, thank you. JC, thank you. All right. I'm picking another call. Hello. That line, that line. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, this is Andaba from Mugijo. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna say thank you. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know how possible it is for me to see you one on one for a private counseling. Mm, I'm gonna drop my number at the end of the show. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Jacob, calling from Agboa. Okay, welcome. Joseph. No, Jacob, Jacob. Jacob, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a problem. Go ahead, let's hear it. You might actually be my last caller tonight. Oh. Uh, you want to make it snappy? Uh, my problem is this. Um, since I've been in Lagos for five years now, I have a girlfriend from here who she promised to be husband and wife okay. forever. Okay. So, since I've lived with me, my girl, I've given different families, I carry boys all day. I say no problem. But I don't know, and I don't have much money to travel down to the village. Hmm. The little I have. I've, I'm using it for the introduction and all these things. Mm -hmm. But for now, for shipping, this is it. The money, you, you, are, you are saving money for introduction for a girl that probably by the time you will get to the village, she might not even be yours again. I mean, think about it. I mean, people are telling you all sorts of stories about this girl. You don't have money to travel to the village. You are saving the money for introduction. That's not wise. It is better you go and find out if this girl is yours before thinking about introduction. Really, that's the right thing to do. And I think five years is a long time, actually. Five years is a long time. Okay? All right. All right. Thank you for calling. And I'm sorry that is all I will be able to take tonight. Thank you guys for joining me from all angles on Wazobia Max, on Wazobia, uh, Wazobia TV, Instagram, my guys. Also, to me, how much jealousy is too far to have for wounds. Oh, I saw that on Instagram. Okay, jealousy, a little bit of it is heavy, but when the person is choking you, then it becomes a problem, all right? Doctor, answer me. I think I've answered your question, all right? You look beautiful. Thank you, Bilo, Pat, David. Happy New Month. I wish you all the best in the new month. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I take all the wishes and I wish you guys all the best in the new month. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.